Welcome to Hopkinton Coffee Break, your home for current community talk with Patricia Duart, Darlene Hayes, and Connie Wright. Hello, welcome to our Coffee Break, and look who we have today. So we're meeting some new friends, we're getting to know some new friends here in Hopkinton. Ruda, Hi. Um, a Blaker, mm -hmm. and Adida. Not Carney. Not Carney. Not Carney. Yep. These beautiful <laughs> lyrical names. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Our pleasure. Yes, yeah. So we um, we met. Um, I think uh, really got to talk at the farmers market mm -hmm. not too long ago. Yeah. And you were um, sharing some wonderful things on the common about an organization that you started. So we're so delighted to hear about that. But we also want to just learn more about you and you here and in Hopkinton. And, yeah, sure. Everything. Yeah. So sure. what's the name of the organization? Let's start so there. Um, it's. Short form is such, S A C H, and we are um, South Asian Circle of Hopkinton. That's I wonderful. Love. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And yeah. I actually met Ruta <laughs> yes. two and a half years ago. Right? I don't remember. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> I, I remember our first, yeah. uh, first time at yes. uh, a friend's house. Yes. And I, uh, of course, knew. Um, John Saviano um, mm -hmm. through our <laughs> your yes. <laughs> his business, <laughs> yes, his business uh, and he actually sold us our house. Oh, yeah. wonderful! So, um, I mean, so Ruth and I met at um, your friend's kind of housewarming party. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, oh, wonderful. Lovely. And so. she introduced me, real housewife of. Of oh, Hopkinton. Hopkinton. <laughs> yes. And that's how I know Connie. And we talked for a long yeah, time. We, mm -hmm. we were just sitting on a table, and um, at that time I wasn't really planning, but um, the, the reason was um, really, um, we moved in 2016 spring okay. uh, in Hopkinton, and um, I realized that there is a lot of Indians uh, and um, South e uh, Asians, Asians. In, uh, in the community, and mm -hmm. it's just growing, uh, yes. and we travel a lot to go um, attend um, community events, mm -hmm. because uh, they are up far on 495 North yeah. and mm -hmm. 90. And I just realized, why not just send a casual email to some of the people I know about getting together here in town. Mm -hmm. And uh, it all started off with no expectations, um, actually not even a reply from anybody expecting that. And mm -hmm. it just, people started adding and forwarding, what a wonderful idea, yeah. we should all yeah, do this. Absolutely. And um, then, uh, geez, I, I, the 30 odd people added on, on forwarded. And I started making a list, and because because it was electric, like it just yes. started um, lighting you up. Really, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. so I saw uh, everybody felt the same, um, but uh, obviously did not. Uh, I was just the first one to act on what I felt, so it kind of like grew, um, and we just met. We just met at, for a tea. Absolutely, uh, which was yeah, awesome. Exactly, it was her brainchild, right? <laughs> uh, really, okay. the the whole idea, and then. Again, I think some of our fondest memories from our childhood in, in India yeah. mm -hmm. uh, are really the times we spend with our close friends, our family, mm -hmm. to celebrate some of our festivals, right. to celebrate, you know, just yeah. to, to have fun together. Mm -hmm. and, and of course, we have been doing that over the years, but what takes it to the next level is to see the community kind of come together Absolutely. and share that celebration with us. So I think this was a good avenue for us to share our our culture our um, you know our festivals our food of course right. which is oh, yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 yeah yeah exactly that's the best bridge yeah. in the world the, house food. Right. the food was amazing i was like yes. okay you yeah. know i'm all about the food. yeah, yeah. yeah. and then even for our children because they go to the right. schools here so they get to bond with their friends outside of school you know yeah. share where they come from, it's right. uh, it's it's that piece of it I think which really drew me in, and right. and I've I've always been a part of these kind of organizations. Ruta has always spearheaded, you know, uh, some of these sorts. It's, it's great. The Southeast Asian, you know, it's sort of focused because it does capture the, the Indian subcontinent. And I yeah. like the word yeah. circle in it because exactly. it's all encompassing. So we have a oh, logo, yeah. and you can visit our website. And South yeah, we'll Asian be circle. Um, yeah. You know, it's a circle. It's yes. because it's you know community, and we are all right. together. Yeah. Right. But inside, I'm just going to. Uh, yeah, please. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, yeah. Yeah. Um, we want to hear. There th there's a lotus, um, uh -huh. and the lotus uh, and its petals, and it's very significant. The, flo the flower lotus is like the very lily. Um, yes. For those of you who don't know, um, is very significant to that part of uh, fr from yeah. India East and surrounding. East Asia. Oh, okay. Yeah, exactly. The roots are way below in it's the. It's like uh, deeply uh, rooted, right? okay. deep water. which mm. which signifies most of us. Yes. Um, but we rise above. About it that, and about um, the you water, know, we yeah. react to the surroundings. We close and open yeah. when we have to, and 
there was thoughts and um, I have to mention Charu Smitha who has designed that logo oh, um, in our team. Mm -hmm. Really creative people around First of all, it's, yeah, as, as she like, said, it's yeah. beautiful to begin with. Yeah. It catches attention and then there is a, definitely that deep thought oh, behind so it. Right? There's a representation of the beautiful. openness and being part of a larger community and exactly. adapting to the community. Exactly, yeah. adapting yeah. to the surroundings. So that's, Absolutely. that just... It, it, people's ideas just started coming in and we wanted to you know reach out and um, try to see what is what what the town is and mm -hmm. uh, you know get get knowledge about um, just the awareness about our surroundings absolutely and, um, yeah. the wall is about is just about on us Yes. Yes. And so that's this one week. of the celebrations. Well, let's back mm -hmm. up. Just, this is an event coming. Diwali, I mean, that's I heard the, the term, but yes. that's what this is a big event. About. Yes. Yeah. This yes. Is, when is this coming up? I didn't so, mean to interrupt. Sorry. So, well, uh, officially in, in this right. event. Okay. Yeah. Like yeah. she said, it is mm -hmm. going to, uh, it's coming up this week. Um, okay. December, se uh, sorry, November 7th mm -hmm. is when it's celebrated the main day. It's actually a four or five day, mm -hmm. depending on where the stars are aligned. Oh, that's cool. Uh, you know, uh, you yeah. just like to party. Yeah. But, uh, but it signif every yes, day please. signifies, you know, um, a special event. Um, mm -hmm. And um, the main day is celebrated. One thing is this e this festive, uh, this holiday is celebrated all throughout India. Uh, yes. So okay. you know, in different forms, but it's one um, one major event uh, holiday. It's almost like Christmas. Everybody it's the festival uh, of yeah. It's yeah. our Christmas. So it's your so a little bit of the historical significance mm -hmm. of the mm -hmm. holiday. Mm -hmm. You know what's. Based in what's the a celebration? Yeah, yeah. What are some of the traditions? What do you sure. Yeah, yeah. because Food. I've heard yeah, of so it, but I don't know the traditions. Yeah. Like, okay, I've heard of it. And that, that's really I, a good point you raise because these festivals are not just all about partying and having fun, right? <laughs> right, right. There is, there is, uh, there is always like this. Christmas core, sometimes feels that way. Yeah, for some exactly. Reason, yeah. Which know? is the best part about <laughs> it, but uh, they have like these core values behind yeah. it. So. Mm -hmm. It's the celebration of good versus evil. It's the celebration of a new beginning. It's also tied to like a new year okay. on the Indian calendar. Some people look at it as, you know, okay. a new year beginning. in their, a new the beginning. Jewish Rosh Hashanah. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Very cool. And then the whole, uh, if you just look back in our, it's, it's a mythological uh, uh, history, okay. uh, but it's about this king who actually fought the demons and returned back to his kingdom. And in order to welcome him, because it was good versus evil, mm -hmm. they, they lit yeah. up the kingdom with like oh, oil lamps oh, and man. fire. And, there and for all the of that, of and exactly, and then okay. welcoming him, and that's where the whole festival of lights Very comes cool. from. I did not know that. In story. my neighborhood, in um, <coughs> I live around Saddle Hill Road, um, a couple of years ago, I've noticed that some homes had beautiful lights, and it felt way early for mm -hmm. you know my yeah. lens around the, the traditional <laughs> yeah. holidays, and um, beautifully lit. And I thought, wow, folks are getting in the spirit early. It was Diwali, yes. no doubt. Yes. Yes. Exactly. So, I and mean, sometimes it was. it's also yes. Halloween, like. Yeah. 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 No, but Sometimes this one, like this one. Yeah, you yeah, transition from yeah. Halloween yeah. into Diwali, yeah. 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 Christmas. Our celebration. Exactly. Yeah. I, you know, we all love lights. I mean, it's just so yeah. exciting and beautiful. So now, are there traditional foods or absolutely, you know, absolutely yeah. sweets? So there's sweets and savory, both. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's of course. There's lots. Um, yeah. And every day, I mean, every region has its own. But of course, right. there's, there's like a balance between savory and sweet, mm -hmm. uh, fried, crunchy salty and also you know ghee there's a significant yes. you know the clarified butter there's oh. lots of sweets that um, that are um, actually made with with it um, mm -hmm. and sugar of course mm -hmm. and um, <laughs> jaggery there's mm -hmm. another but but I mean all, a cardamom mm. notes, um, if you were there for the for the tea if yeah we had uh, a sample of what we mm -hmm. uh, you know the rose and we we, we had a cookies, bake yeah. sale yeah. with like cardamom oh, right. and rose water cookies oh, yeah. that one of our friend baked and um, that was a major uh, hit <laughs> there, but, but i mean notes of yeah. cardamom always in all of our sweets so yeah, yeah. and ruta brings up a good point right because even within india there are like 26 diff like there yeah. are 26 different states different sure. dialects different right. food varieties depending on which region you come from yeah. so again like Coming from where, like my state, mm -hmm. we have a specific set of sweets, and now as part of this community, I get exposed to more <laughs> sweets from other regions. So oh, that, that, that's, that's, that, 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 yeah. that's really sad. Right? Yeah. <laughs> 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 and, and, yeah. So it officially celebrates next week, but one of the re reasons you guys are here today is that on December 1st, yes. you, you've brought your S A C H. Such also means truth. In, in, in India, yeah. it also means I'm what? I missed truth. 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 Oh. Honesty. Uh, yeah. I, I like honesty. That. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Honesty. Okay. And on Isn't that interesting? So, so you're okay. going to be you're you're going to be actually open up 
greater than just your group, yes. a community event yep. mm -hmm. that we all can go to on yes. December Absolutely. 1st. And so Absolutely. if you guys can talk about, about that. that. Thank uh, you. A warm, warm welcome to everybody. Um, we will share all the details with this event yes. um, with where you can buy the tickets. But mainly, you know, we want we want it to be the whole community, that whole town of Hopkinton wow. open. There'll be delicious food. Um, and also, like, you know, if you want to learn a little more, yes. we have, like, little ones in the community that mm -hmm. are putting together, you know, mm -hmm. a lot of effort. Yeah. Um, you know, where will about the festival. Where's it going to be? This at the Holliston uh, Town, uh, the hall, the yeah. hall. Okay, yeah. excellent. So at the ho Holliston, Holliston Town, town Hall. <coughs> and five uh, in the evening. Oh, um, wonderful. Ten and oh, the night. And there's oh, lots yes. of music, dancing, oh, yeah. food. It's going to be like live performances, stage performances. So that's the other thing, right? Like in the, when you celebrate a festival, there is the prep that goes into, you yeah. know, the, the, and that's what I think many, there are many groups within the town budding artists, a lot of talents yeah. coming together to put together some stage shows mm -hmm. and there's going to be the Indian dinner, so yeah, yeah, yeah. A, a, a huge spread <laughs> what, yeah. and, what are you, live music. And what are you calling the event? So we're gonna, it's we're the Diwali, Diwali Gala. Diwali Gala. Uh, yeah. Diwali Gala. Mm -hmm. yep. yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Such Diwali Gala, yeah. um, 2018 is yeah. what we're calling it. <laughs> I love it. I and love it's our first event. So we, um, I, I didn't even mention, we were just um, registered um, as a non-profit in September. Okay. Late Congratulations. September. Congratulations. Thank you. That's a big Thank you. Uh, yep. It's a huge step for some people like us who did not uh, know much about non-profits. Yeah. So research went in during the summer. A um, few of us, um, you know, did mm -hmm. our... Um, work on, and now we are officially there. But this is our first event, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. a public e public mm -hmm. event. Um, so mm -hmm. major one. Yeah. We did well, one small. And yeah. you did bring up dancing, which reminds me. Mm -hmm. I can't remember. You have some children, I think, in town, right? <laughs> yeah. And are any of them dancing? Yes. I <laughs> thought so. <laughs> I think I remember them dancing on the common. Well, tell us about did they, kids, Were they part of the Not my kids. Not true. <laughs> my, my kid, I have two uh, children. Um, mm -hmm. I have one girl, Mira, who is eight years old in Elmwood, third grade. And I have a si um, sixth grader, uh, oh, 11 years old in middle school, mm -hmm. my uh, son, Aaron. Just but, got uh, back from nature's classroom. Yes. Oh, yeah. 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 He yeah. thoroughly <laughs> enjoyed it. He had a blast. Kids have been going to nature's classroom for generations here. And I got the warmest hug back when he was back. Yeah. Yeah. I, oh. I hardly can get he any hugs you. from him. Yeah. I should send him for more of these. <laughs> exactly. Um, but yeah, my, my, daughter, my daughter learns a form of um, Indian dance. Um, it's called Kathak. Uh, it's a traditional um, North Indian um, dance. So she mm -hmm. will be performing um, oh. there. She's learning uh, right at our own um, Hopkinton um, HCA, Center yeah. for Arts. Oh, yeah. um, mm -hmm. the, her teacher teaches there. She has a class. So. Um, but you're right. At the diversity day in the Commons, yeah. there was a I lot. I remember if it was your daughter or not, but I remember yes, the dancers. There were uh, it was amazing. not my daughter, but there were her friends. Yeah. Oh, her friends were dancing. <laughs> yeah. there we go. And yeah. it was a very nice yeah. day. Yes. Uh, yes. Mar yes, I think Margie. Uh, Margie Wade. Yes. Yes. yes, she had done it together. The Youth Commission. Had, you know, the co right. youth commission. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, had it was amazing. And it was, I was there. I yeah. was, uh, yeah, we, we were, were informed right. yeah, as a group, exactly, yeah. but he was yeah. also there. We had yeah. a table with samosas. Yeah. No, <laughs> I <laughs> oh, I think I like take your table pretty hard. Oh. <laughs> and there was henna. It was henna. like a repeat <laughs> table, like, oh, walk back. Yeah. What about you? Did you have children? Yes, I do have a seven-year-old boy. Ah. He's uh, he's at Elmwood. He's a second grader, oh, Arav. Oh. Ah. Yeah, Lovely. and so they are actually like, because we are sure we are going to get these kind of questions around, you know, why Diwali is celebrated. So we have a bunch of kids that are going to do a small skit, oh. uh, just again narrating the whole, the, uh, the mythology, yeah, just absolutely. to tell the story behind yeah. Diwali. Absolutely. Yeah, so he, they're going to do that. So we're just all enriched learning about other cultures in a deep, yes. meaningful way. And this yes. is what's so fun about this, you know, whether it's events, just getting together, just getting to meet you yeah. through food, music. Mm -hmm. and Looking forward. Actually, for us, too, we are learning about our own uh, culture also. Like he said, exactly. we are just yes. from a small part in India now because we are here. We have right. so many other cultures that we have. Mm -hmm. um, didn't exactly. have the bandwidth to learn yeah, when we exactly. were young. Right. Now we have... A well, chance. It's, it, it's kind of like people that are had grew up here versus people that grew up in Correct. the southern yeah. U.S. Right, versus right. the mm -hmm. Midwest, and there are, are always subtle differences, yep. and there's definitely food differences. Yes. Like, I think as we become more global, you know, even in this country, it's becoming a little more um, not homogenous, but but. It, We're it's influenced not as, by each other. For yes, sure. but even and, in and so this is what I love. You know, hearing that. 
you're being influenced, but we're being influenced oh, as true. well. Exactly. Just having yeah. that, and that it's all wonderful. about that. Well, yeah, we, exactly. We talk yeah. about food and you know the proliferation mm -hmm. of Indian restaurants. Yeah. And I hope to get some guidance. I mean, you're you're knowledgeable pretty much. I mean, you go. To I, 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 I do too. But I, I, I don't love know. it. I've been going for years, and Al Basha is a favorite, and uh -huh. things like that. Like, yeah. I was mm -hmm. also going to talk about the clothing. I think you know not. Um, yeah, you want to stand you know, up? Scarves. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I know. And, and just other things. I mean, I think we're where styles are reflecting, you know, different sorts of things. Tunics and, and, I've, and I've scarves. Brought, and I brought a piece to show Ruta today that yeah. actually a woman in Hockington mm -hmm. has started designing. That and she has she designs it, has it made in Pakistan and brought in. Wow. And you know, she, her mindset is yes, she's going to help with Pakistan weddings and big people in her mm -hmm. culture. But she also wants to appeal to Americans. And so, so she's looked at like Brooks Brothers catalogs. She'll look at people who wear tunics already that might be wearing <laughs> bandit calls. And so create, I'm going to meet and her. Stuff like that. So she, tunics. like, um, I've now gotten several of her pieces and have had and a great more time. Vibrant and more vibrant colors. Vibrant, all handmade, all hand beaded. A, a, so. Sort of a Southeast Asian inspired mm -hmm. outfit, too. And it's yeah, so tell us that. Yeah. Yeah. So this is, I just bought it from one of my, actually one of our uh, board members, uh, ah. her, her sister designs. So, um, yeah, this, this is attached beautiful. to it. It's beautiful. I love it. I, yeah. I, I love, love the, the fabric. It looks it's soft, too. And it's, it's, and it's, it's got a silk. sheen to it. It's silk. It's raw yeah, silk. Um, and it's a fusion and dress kind of. It's blending it's the West. And uh, yeah. Yeah. Block painted, sorry. Wow. Not hand painted. Block painted oh. on it. And, so. and um, you know, I, of course, I look at that and it's like, oh, God, you know, I, there's, when I think of fashion, mm -hmm. I like, you know, exploring boundaries yeah. and, and mm -hmm. going a little bit beyond. So, you know, I love some of the, um, you know, uh, Western Asian, yes. uh, the, the Eastern Asian, mm -hmm. the, uh, uh, you know, African, even the South American, yeah. you know, these cultures yeah. that have just a different twist different to twist. the style Absolutely. and it's just it, to me it's there could be ways to integrate and sprinkle right. it in you know exactly. just throughout Correct. just in yeah, terms of exactly. colors yeah. or shapes or yeah. i love and it and a lot of that as as we are getting more global i think a lot of that is happening where there are a lot of these fusion right. kind yes. of like you know uh, design right. um, absolutely yep. so i just wanted to point that out because <laughs> I am so yeah. fascinated yeah. with this. Look, this is amazing. I can share her contact with you. There you go. <laughs> She's right in town. There, there you go. And so how, so and what, what is the attire Just for, for Diwali? But, oh. I mean, how do people dress? So, um, Daisy does two tops. So, yeah. Oh, okay. Is, is that <laughs> for, for people who don't have... <laughs> that would be <have> wearing. <laughs> no, sorry. No, no worries. No. <laughs> um, there's no, there's no dress code. Right, um, right. But I mean, it just is a formal, semi-formal. So um, you just dress up evening. and have. You that's yeah, dress up. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's what yeah. yeah. you can. You um, can, mm -hmm. and you know, you don't have to dress up Indian. Right, but no, whatever but you feel. But festive, and colorful yeah. would be yeah, kind yeah of actually, the thing. Yeah. Okay. colorful. Yes, sure colors yeah. are an integral right. part. Yeah. Right. I mean, we never get the opportunity to flash our, you know, our wardrobe from our country. So that's our opportunity where you will see a lot of flashy, colorful clothes and. So we have like again like this long tunic like mm -hmm. thing. It's yeah. uh, it's a like knee length, uh, mm -hmm. a long thing. Again, it can be embroidered. It can beaded, be like plain yeah. beaded. Exactly. Nice. We carry a stole. Many people do that. So it, and it can be yeah. Yeah, it's awesome. fun. And we have to do that. Hopefully, there's it's not snowing that evening. But then we, <laughs> it's exactly yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> but again, like we have to wear all our cotton fabric and sport it in December. Oh, okay. <laughs> so yeah. we'll see. That's another time where you see you'll bra you'll see people braving the winter. Exactly. Yeah. Because I guess wool and that sort of thing is just Correct, not really yeah, exactly. It's Asia. not. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's it's tropical. not woolen fabric for for sure. Right. So, because yeah, a lot right. of the dress men's clothes I've seen is like. It's the white pants and then the you long tunics it. and all Which embroidered. Are colorful, so exactly. in December, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. and, and, it's and a challenge. you know, and the whole American thing, like, oh, yeah. you don't wear white after Labor Day. Exactly. Oh, I wear white all the time. Don't worry about it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, it certainly was, but I think yeah, we're de deviating yeah. from that. It's okay, funny, Rick. But maybe your your designer friend can start making heavier fabrics just yeah, to go there with There are some that are extremely heavy and things like that. It's a great opportunity for for some of the crossover use. One of the things that you both mentioned that I actually wanted to roll back on is you actually both have kids at Elmwood, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. And Patricia and I were able to attend at least the beginning of it. And I think you may have been there too. Um, a shout out to um, our superintendent, Dr. Kavanaugh, oh, the yes. school committee, yes. who's yes. really trying to build diversity, build culture. Yep. But a huge shout out to the staff at Elmwood School. Absolutely. Because Elmwood in particular that. has mm -hmm. taken the lead 
on building this cultural inclusion. Yep. They're trying to celebrate all cultures. Absolutely, they're trying yeah. to learn. Exactly. And I think that school in particular in the entire town has set the pace. I yeah. think for you, exactly. are you guys feeling that way? Your kids yeah. feeling? No, yeah, absolutely. Yes. Through their show and tell. And this is a way of a, a large scale show and tell what we are doing, right? And they're yeah. doing it in, in their classrooms. They're again mm -hmm. doing it through like different events. And yeah. it's I wish it that. just continues to like, you know, mid I right. express that and I think And I think it'll grow on because you'll, yeah. you'll yeah. have these kids that have come from Elba. Well, and then yeah, and it goes on. Continue. And they'll expect that. You Whatever, want to high school. Absolutely. Yeah. But even the or, staff from Elmwood that came to that event that was talking about the survey, talking about how to build the, these communities, yeah. they all had like these team shirts on. And I yes. can't remember what it was. Oh, right. If it, yeah. if it said Elmwood um, Cares or Elmwood something, I can't remember. They yeah. were bright. Yeah. I know. Yeah. I, yeah. I saw those. I was yeah. at the. Uh, uh, Diversity survey. Uh, that was that was that was that was the meeting. That was right. Right. It was right. over and over again that it was Elmwood yeah. kept coming up to the like cream of the top is like mm -hmm. that this this is where the the kids are getting it. This is where the staff is getting it, and the community is getting it. Yeah. You know, and you know well, where Elmwood's we need work. It seems more is the older kids and stuff like yeah, that. Exactly. Elmwood's had that history. I mean, even you know, with the Kenyan runners, the marathon. I mean, yes. Uh, yes. You know, yeah. for since for generations, you know, the Kenyan runners. So well, the kids have always gotten a, an opportunity to get exposed to the international um, exactly. arena. Our community special. You know, the the inclusiveness, yes. embracing of traditions and cultures, and and mm -hmm. um, you know, there's so many wonderful. Uh, activities yes. that go yeah. on. Yeah. Um, More than I love it. Absolutely. I love exactly, it. Yeah. 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 Actually, the high school um, um, actually reached out to us because the high schoolers have um, um, a, hot, a, a club with, uh, where they where they talk about yes. different cultures. Inter mm -hmm. They had just had the international night. Um, yes. Oh. Six weeks back and we can we can we are more than welcome I mean, more than happy to um, volunteer there yeah. as yeah. well for the high school kids because How some wonderful. of them are really interested in food yeah well, I, I, <laughs> food. Yeah. all of them yeah. 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 not a teenager food not food. Is, <laughs> i will right. tell you food yeah. not only eating it but sharing it is yeah. such a common exactly, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. bonding it's, it's a, a good bonding yeah, yeah exactly yeah. Yeah. common yeah. denominator we all want to eat i don't when your smells Oh my goodness, they were amazing. You know, thank <laughs> <Like, laughs> you. Yeah, I'm. I, I I love food, and and yeah. I I yeah. Yeah, even on for at farmers market, right? Yes. That's what was yes. pulling the crowds, right. and I was amazed to see how even some of the younger kids were willing to experiment and try sure. it out. And we were like warning them, saying it's it's it can be a little, a little spicy. spicy. Are you yeah. fine yeah. with it? Yeah. They would take the. They would like this is great. It's it's almost like spicy fries, right. like spicy. Yeah. Uh -huh. And they try to correlate the yeah. you know it's the so the cute. ingredients, and it's just pretty oh, cool yeah, to see that. I love it. To, yeah, for absolutely. like them drawing analogies and all of mm -hmm. that is just great. Yeah. I think with kids, when you just hand them something and it just looks you know. You're saying it's good here, there, yeah. and you yeah. know. I mean, that's how we yeah, get our kids. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, expand exactly. your palate. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. And that's when they draw the Absolutely. analogies. It it clicks how similar you know we are yes. in right. terms of like yeah. food and it's. That's it's true. Right. Exactly. Yes. When yeah. when you think about these things, uh, right. we we keep drawing boundaries and um, yeah. you know we and have and to geographically, but right. at the end there is a lot of common. Food mm -hmm. is one of them. Um, <sighs> culture for us is like a huge part. So yes. we want to. Harness that energy, that positive energy, yeah. into you know making a difference. Well, it's, it's sharing, so, and it, I yeah. laugh as yeah. people look at me and it's like, okay, we know you know you're you're you know a white girl from America, <laughs> but <laughs> I grew up in southern central yeah. Pennsylvania, and my family's Pennsylvania Dutch, and we had a tradition yeah. of making what's called a fasna, um, and it happens the day before Lent, and it's essentially a potato donut, <laughs> but it's very different. And so my kids were always bringing those to school <laughs> on Fosnox <laughs> Day. Because no one had ever heard what of that. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> You've had some. I, I've had some at Connie's house. Yeah, awesome. you know, but it's just, it's a right. family tradition. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. and, and people enjoy sharing and then learning. And, yeah, absolutely. And, yeah. you know, mine's a little more well, obscure, I'll, but. I'll and also I, mention the Hopkinson Outdoor Center has yes. welcomed the um, cricket team. Um, oh, and yes, you're familiar yes, with yeah, exactly. That, um, you know, it's an idea. Yeah, yeah of course. course. <laughs> it's <laughs> a religion. Yeah. Well, I'm familiar with the things that are being It's a commitment. Yeah. 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 Ye
Right, exactly. Yeah. But you know, so I just really um, I'm on the board of the Y, and we're just so proud of the fact that the you know MathWorks and the and the um, employees at, at MathWorks that put this together in partnership with the Y, uh -huh. you know, that all that came together. I see. And uh, it's just been a wonderful addition to. And I look forward to at some point going to cricket games and getting exposed to yeah. this this sport that you know right, so yeah. familiar to. So exactly, yeah. 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 I mean, I great. think that's awesome. One of the things that, you know, is greatly to appreciate is that, you know, so much in New England, and since I, and I grew up, like, right here, is just that you, you, you picture these small towns as always like this, you know, white church in the center, this little yeah. common, everything else, and how much the diversity is beyond food, beyond where people grew up, yeah. whether you were Italian or Irish, where, you know, from the Islamic center to the Sikh center to with the center and national in Westbrook, is that we've now built almost like a belief, a diversity of beliefs and stuff like that. So yeah. you actually, yeah, exactly. I think it's acceptance. Our, you know, our white church on the common is I Korean Presbyterian say. church. Yeah, and every year. Exactly. That was a yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. you know, yeah. when, when I was a kid was the previous faith community church was the Hopkins uh. Congregational Church. But you know, that we've embraced more, a broader as yes. aspect. Thank you for that. Like you know, Absolutely. I really want to thank the community of Hopkinton and just so welcoming. Yeah. And it's so exactly. so positive. Everybody so wins. And that was, yeah. Everybody yeah. wins. Yeah. Yes. So that's one and of that the was one of the main drivers, I think. Because even I've been us, in the yeah. town for the last like two and a half years yeah. now. And I think that was our main driver was other than the reputed school system, it was the community, right? Yeah. It's so family so oriented well and so open. Close and local businesses mm -hmm. booming here now. Uh, we're seeing them come up. Yeah, and I, I know there's a picture with Connie, Patricia, and I a few years ago. We had these signs that we were putting out in people's yards. You know, you know, love is and this that, and these black signs and people that listed like all these things. You know, yeah. We these statements of kindness, kindness, kindness inclusion, statements, inclusion, indeed. inclusion uh -huh. statements. And I was getting these private messages like. You know, we were looking for a home in Hockington when we saw this. Uh, this why one of the reasons we picked it, you know, and whether it was, you know, same-sex couples, an Indian absolutely. couple sent me a message. But that, you know, we were looking at the surrounding towns because Southboro, Westboro, very right. similar. But Hopkington is unique yeah. in that regard. So we have to end. This has been wonderful. Oh, my goodness. Thank you. Yeah, having you. you both yeah. here. Thank you so Thank much you for the so opportunity. Much. We look forward to the event coming yeah, up. Yeah, absolutely. We'll have so yeah. once again, right, yeah. December 1st at the Holliston Town Hall. Love this it. is the... Such Diwali Gala night, yes. uh, again with dinner, live performances, live music, and a lot of fun. So Absolutely. Please Thanks. come along. Thank you. Thank, you. Yeah. Thank, you, Thank you so much. Thanks for joining us. Thanks. 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 Together we can change the news. Find out how at safekids.org.